Right, the England fans certainly enjoyed their afternoon at various fan parks across the country with six goals to celebrate against Iran. These are the scenes at Box Park in Wembley as Jude Bellingham gave England an early lead. That's just fizzy lemonade going everywhere. Got better for England and their supporters. Bakaya Saka making it 2-0. Fans didn't hold back in Manchester. And this was the moment at a fan park in Brighton as England got their third. Raheem Sterling getting in on the action. Oh, they're loving it. Celebrations were in full swing once again at Box Park. Saka getting his second goal and England's fourth. Now, Iran did pull a goal back, but these supporters in Manchester's got a chance to see one of their own, Marcus Rashford, making it 5-1. And the drinks go up in the air again. Uh, this is as England got their sixth. Jack Grealish rounding it all off. Goodness me, what's going on there? Looks like maybe a flare, I don't know. Goodness me. Oh, Lee Hendry, we didn't have drinks to throw up in the air, but we did enjoy that, didn't we? As a whole... All-round performance from England. That was a brilliant, perfect performance, you'd say. It, it was near on perfect. Yeah, I think you just take the, goals. the two goals yeah, out of the right. equation. But, you, um, yes, I mean, everything that you wanted to see from an England performance and perspective today, we did actually see. We've seen some great goals, brilliant performances. Um, I mean, and playing on the front foot as well. You know, there was lots of changes that were made today um, that probably... You know, might have just come under the watchful eye of should they have been or shouldn't they have been and they've all put that English shirt on, shirt on and performed to, to the highest level. If you could pick one, would there be a standout performer on that field? Oh, or I mean, impossible? Jude, Jude, Jude Bellingham, Bellingham was okay. my, my standout player. He was, I mean, from start to finish, I just think, you know, you look at how young he is and the rise of where he's come from and what he's achieved and and, and still got so much more to achieve and he was just, I think, what we've been missing from that midfield area, um, particularly when we touch on Declan Rice being such a good defensive minded yeah. midfielder, is that, you know, having someone who can go and join in and, and be a striker and be an attacking threat amongst what we've got ahead of that. Um, it was just great to see and it just typified the way he got his goal. He, you know, he, he got that timing, arrived into the box. And, and, and produced a fantastic header. Um, so it's something that we haven't seen for quite some time, having a, a midfielder that can do the horrible side of the game, yet can produce some magical moments, which he did today. And it, it's great to see that he's got such an old head on a young shoulders, really. So mm. credit to him and, uh, and his performance today. Um, he was stand out by a, a, a long stretch. OK, Bakaya Saka, discuss him, because he's already got more goals at a World Cup than Wayne Rooney picked up. <laughs> I mean, he's not a bad Saka to have, although, you know, Wayne Rooney only did got the two. No, I know. Saka's... Again, I, I, I always look at things and, you know, I think Saka... You know, I, I, I go back to when he, he missed the penalty and it seems so far back, but, you know, the, the, the situations that surrounded that young man, yeah. you know, heart went out to him and... You know, I always, th always felt that you've got to show a strong character to step up to even take a penalty. Today, you know, I think people were possibly saying he should, Foden should have started ahead of him. Saka was in my team. He's been brilliant this season um, for Arsenal and he was brilliant again today mm. for everything that he did. I know he scored the two goals, but I watched his, his performance quite close of what he does. He looked strong, he looked powerful, he looked a threat. Um, he was brilliant. He, he, I just like I say, you know, there's players like Saka, you know, still young, <laughs> and, and to come on and, and perform on the, on the world stage like Bellingham, I, I, I just have to take my hat off to him because, you know, there is a massive pressure that comes with, with playing in that England side in particular, coming off the back of bad performances, you know, the run of form that they've been in, but absolutely fantastic mm. to see them young players really stepping up and, and, and relishing the fact of putting an England shirt on. Saka was a player that was certainly in form coming into this tournament. Harry Maguire, Raheem Sterling, perhaps two that weren't, and, and Saka always says he tries to pick on form, but also in their England form. Those two have had to silence the doubters today, surely with that what you saw from those. Yeah, again, if you, you know, we talk on the younger players, we're going to the experienced players now mm. and on, on the other side of it. And, and Maguire having to, to really come in and, and show 
you know what, I, I can I can deal with this. Mm. It's not easy, I'll tell you that now, it's not easy. Sterling being in the same category, yeah. probably not as bad as No, Maguire. but not scored. Yes, not scored, yeah, but Maguire's right. not played, has he? So, you know, there's yeah. been, he's, he's been a, a lengthy stretch of him not getting minutes. He had to play today if Gareth was going to have him amongst the team for the remaining fixtures. Um, so today to come on with all that scrutiny that surrounded him in particular, you know, question mark the goal. You, you might have said he could have done a little bit better. Fatigue might have kicked in. We were getting to a, a stage in the game where, you know, you might have said he, he might have come off anyway, mm. um, which he ended up coming off with a, a bit of a, I think it was a bit of an injury, a head injury. Um, but Sterling, on the other hand, remarkable. Absolutely showed what he's capable of doing. And we know he's, he is in an England shirt. Chelsea haven't seen it this season as much. But I've no doubt in Sterling. You know, he wasn't one I would have picked today, if I'm being quite honest. Really? No, I, I mean, I would have liked to have seen Grealish play. Um, but, you know, Sterling playing today, he turned up today. He was brilliant. He worked the line well, complimented Harry Kane, stepped in when he had to, moved along got into little pockets and, and, and caused problems. And that's what Raheem Sterling's all about. And he got on the score sheet. That is something that we know he's more than capable of doing so. And adding to the goals is going to give him confidence. You mentioned the fact that you'd like to see Harry... Uh, Harry? No. Jack Grealish <laughs> play. We did get to see a glimpse of him, didn't we? Because he made five substitutes, one of which came on 49 seconds later. He gets a goal, and that's Marcus <laughs> Rashford. I mean, fantastic to see five subs come on in a game. It, it, was, it was really good to see the substitutes uh, mm. being made from Gareth and for all the big calls that he's made. You know, you could still say that he could have kept Kane on. Kane will want to be amongst the, the golden boots the sh the, for sure that's what he he brings and that's what he's all about his hunger for that um, so to take him off and bring in the likes of Wilson on Rashford come on immediately made an impact Grealish came on got his goal um, you know Foden Dyer we, the list goes on and it, it's good that he's utilised his squad yes there was a comfortable situation you know where he could have brought them players on but you know at times I've seen him stick with players and maybe not bring them players on because sometimes it gives him a headache you know mm. he, you've got to think of that forward attacking line that he's got at his peril you know it, it's good that he's done that because now he's got options and you know he's got that well there's the shirt you've got to fight for the shirt if you're not mm. playing you're coming on and you're making an impact that's what the substitutes did today and that's what impressed me yeah okay you can come again because you are their lucky <laughs> omen i think um having a beaten them 6-2. Thank you so much for your company today. Are you available for the USA game? Yeah, um, I might not be actually. Oh, <laughs> honestly, honestly. Well.